get ready. Every now and then, while watching a movie, a scene would feature a roller coaster. Often you'd ask yourself where it was located and if you could ride it. For one reason or another, it seemed like this was commonplace during the 90s, with Six Flags Parks being the go-to for these now famous scenes. If you're of a particular age, I'm sure that there are a few that spring to mind. Luckily for you movie buffs, we have four roller coasters used in films that not only are real, but you can still ride them today. But before we jump into this video though, here's your quick reminder to give the video a like if you enjoy it and press the subscribe button to keep up with our channel, it really does help. And with that out of the way, let's see some movie roller coasters that you can ride in real life. Get ready. Firebird, Six Flags America in Richie Rich. This one in particular feels like every kid's dream, or at least it was for us. If you recall the classic 1994 film Richie Rich, starring the iconic child star Macaulay Culkin, then you might remember him having a roller coaster in his own back garden. In order to impress his new friends, Richie brings them along for a self-described pretty intense ride on his latest Christmas present. While this may have been a point of envy for many children that have ever seen this film, you can actually ride this coaster in real life, but just not in your back garden. Originally opening in 1990, it was actually called Iron Wolf and was based at Six Flags Great America and was the tallest and fastest stand-up coaster in the world. It was therefore a fitting ride for the titular character to have the luxury of riding anytime he so desired. The scene was tactically framed so as to not showcase any other of the park's coasters and attractions, giving the impression it was actually in his garden. If you are a fan of the film, the coaster still operates to this day, albeit in a different park. Iron Wolf would be relocated to Six Flags America under the new name Apocalypse, opening in June of 2012. After a total of 19 years operating as a stand-up coaster, it would later be converted to a more comfortable, floorless coaster model. This change came with a new name to its moniker, Firebird, reopening to the public in May 2019, where it operates to this day. Iron Rattler, Six Flags Fiesta Texas, Blank Check From one classic 90s kid movie to another, we now turn to Blank Check, which also features a roller coaster used in the film. Preston Walters is an 11 year old boy who is a bit down on his luck. While attending his school bully's birthday party at Cliffside Fun Park, our Six Flags Fiesta Texas to the trained eye, he's feeling the pinch of his financial constraints. Unfortunately, he can only afford six credits to use at the park's rides. This of course means that he can't ride the park's signature roller coaster, the Rattler. Preston must therefore watch from the sidelines as the rest of the party gets to enjoy a plethora of the park's attractions, including the former Power Surge water ride. He is relegated to the small kiddie rides with his measly six tokens. The Rattler was the real name for the coaster used in the film. It opened in 1992 and debuted as the world's tallest and fastest wooden coaster with a top height of 55 meters and a top speed of 117 kilometers an hour. As evident in the scene, this was an intense and jolty ride even soon after opening. Considering the context of this video, you may be wondering why we are referring to in the past tense. While the ride is still active, it brands a new name and a redevelopment. As is the case with many older wooden coasters, the Rattler received the Rocky Mountain construction treatment. In May 2013, the ride was reopened as Iron Rattler, sporting a new iBox steel track built on some of its original structure. It still operates to this day, meaning unlike Preston, you can actually ride it. Blue Hawk, Six Flags Over Georgia, Vacation, 2015. While we have discussed National Lampoon's Vacation before and its fictitious theme park Wally World in another of our videos, we now turn to the 2015 reimagining of this classic comedy. Vacation follows a now adult Rusty Griswold wishing to relive the vacation adventures he had in his early days with his family. This leads Rusty to reconfigure the family trip to Sheboygan, Michigan and drive across the country to Wally World instead. The attraction that warrants such a trip is the park's newest installment, Velociraptor. While the 1983 vacation saw the Griswolds make the pilgrimage to Six Flags Magic Mountain, Six Flags Over Georgia is now the replacement for Wally World. The attraction in question is actually Blue Hawk, the park's Vacoma Custom MK1200 coaster. 
Through an elaborate series of events, the ride ends up stalling during the butterfly inversion and the family have to be rescued after several hours. Blue Hawk's history dates back to 1989, where it originally opened as Kamikaze at Hunts Pier in Wildwood, New Jersey. It was later relocated to Six Flags Over Georgia in 1992, opening as the park's tallest coaster at the time, reaching 37 meters. It was named Ninja from its opening years until 2015. The ride was closed at the start of the 2016 season, where it received an extensive rework. It was known to be particularly uncomfortable with an inspection deeming it too rough. Filming this portion of the movie was said to be particularly uncomfortable, as the cast had to endure many re-rides to capture footage from on the ride. A public voting system was used to rename the ride, with Blue Hawk ultimately winning. It reopened under this name and the new military theming in June 2016, where it still operates to this day. Wooden Roller Coaster Playland, used in fear. Last but not least, we turn to what is probably the most infamous scene featuring roller coasters used in films, 1996's Fear, starring Mark Wahlberg and Reese Witherspoon. Fear is a psychological thriller whose producer described it as fatal attraction for teens. Nicole, played by Witherspoon, begins an intense relationship with David, Mark Wahlberg, who she meets at a bar. Nicole, being the younger of the two, becomes victim to the abusive ways of David following his persistent lies and manipulation. One of the pivotal and now infamous scenes which helps cement this film as a cult classic features the two leads having a particularly intimate moment on a roller coaster. In order to keep things as family friendly as possible, we won't go into any details. But given the ride restraints, you might be able to deduct what is actually feasible in such a scenario to figure out what actually happens. As was the case with films of its generation, the scene features the underappreciated English band The Sunday's rendition of the Rolling Stones' Wild Horses. It's a scene that feels like it was made for the MTV Movie Awards. Despite the Seattle setting, the rickety wooden coaster used in the film is actually the excitingly titled Wooden Coaster, found at Playland in Vancouver. This same park was actually prominently used in Final Destination 3, as Vancouver provides a cheaper alternative for filming rather than American cities. The ride originally debuted in 1958, opening as the longest coaster in Canada with a track length of 870 meters. Despite its age, it's still highly regarded, ranking 29th in the 2022 Golden Ticket Awards list of top wooden coasters. If you're a movie buff that also enjoys theme parks, check out the previously mentioned video where we discuss real theme parks used in films, which will be on screen now. Which of these roller coasters have you ridden in real life? Leave a comment down below and let us know. And now you're ready 